Hello, welcome back. Um, I'm going to try and get over the river today and do that far side. I've got a couple of Vicky Silvers over there, but uh, <laughs> the river's an obstacle. It runs the entire length of the permission and it's either walking half a mile up there and across or half a mile down there and across. <laughs> uh, and I want to be there, so I'm going to try and Ford the river. <laughs> Be a laugh. Well, I'm just detecting on the way down, of course, and uh, <laughs> oh, there's got to be a button, hasn't it? It's got to be a button. <laughs> oh, it's a button. <laughs> no, it isn't. It's a river. <laughs> Aluminium river. <laughs> mm, that's not a good start. Oops, I don't know what you are. <laughs> You're a lead ball on a rod. Well, crossing the river was quite easy. Uh, <laughs> get to that point, for some reason, it narrows down and I could just step across. It widens up again. Compulsory iron ring. <laughs> Look at the size of that. <laughs> Usually the lucky for me, uh, my goodness. Hey, that's, that's got to be a uh, silver half crown, hasn't it? <laughs> I wish. One very fancy stud. It's had silver. Plated at one time. That should clean up nice. First coin. 18... I think that says 1865. I can't tell with the light. A uh, young head. Not a young head, a bun head. Victoria, in her youth, a good sign, it's uh, silver, there goes go. with silver, horse harness buckle, or it could be a belt buckle I suppose, there we go, I think the line that they've got on the map for the footpath is wrong, and they, they, they didn't waver, they went a straight line between two points and this is where I'm going, the coins. Well, that's George III, uh, I'm inclined to think it's 1799, big half penny. So we're, uh, you know, we're getting back. We only need, what, 200 years? <laughs> hey, button. Uh, might clean up. Very thin, I thought, when I first got it, I thought, ooh, hammered, but it, it isn't. I'm getting hammered to death. Another coin, uh, 1700s, half penny, very worn, copper look. Ah, uh, it's getting hard. I'm digging a lot of iron up, large chunks of iron, deep. I thought that was a ginormous strap end, right? But it isn't. There's a line there, look. Along there where my fingers nails rub in and it's that it rotates on that and it's a ruler one of the, the wood rulers and that's the brass ends that hold it that's wood and that's wood it's a ruler a folding wooden ruler oh spoon handle <laughs> hey I'm getting bits of stuff can't complain beautiful day sheep for company what more can you ask? Well, unless you're a bit of a fancy buckle, you're a new one on me. Flat on one side and decorated on the other, look. Right, there's another bit of that buckle type thing. Yeah, it's going to be interesting when I clean you up. Another button. Part stuff, but no silver. Well, that could well be the bowl part of that spoon, the spoon handle I got, but I got it further up there. Yeah, well, the stuff's coming. Do it a bit of silver. <laughs> right, well, I thought you were a coin. Bent, very thin, until I turned you over, and <laughs> lo and behold, we got gilt. Gold on that side, look. So... Pretty much a button, I reckon. Clean it up when I get home. 
a horse harness buckle. Yes, indeed, eh? A hey, brass ring. See the folding braces up. <laughs> or your money pouch on your belt. Found enough of these, but no money pouches. Well, uh, I would have said that was a 1700s uh, coin, very thin. But then, can you see that gleamy bit on the bottom? Look, try and get it to gleam for you. Which probably means it's a button. Oh, another buckle. I think it's iron. I don't do iron, but I'll take it. <laughs> I can't see for the sun. It's uh, Vicky Bunhead. There we go. I'm trying to find the path that goes across to there. Hopefully I'm on it. Uh, I don't think there's any um, Elizabethan or hammered silver on this side of the river. If I know there isn't, but knowing it and proving it are two different things. <laughs> Another of them folding ruler brackets. Yeah. Ah, pewter spoon handle. Now that's interesting. That is WB in the Cyrillic. That's a Cyrillic W, is that? Ah, part of that bloody spoon's missing, what a pity. Hey, nearest touch the Russian we're getting. <laughs> well, I know what you are. You're a beer keg tap. Uh, see that, that narrow, <laughs> my hands are full. That narrow bit, that's where it's pushed into the barrel. There's your tap. That's where your beer comes out, there, where my little finger is. And on this end, there's a flat bit, look. See the flat bit? That's where they hammer this into the, the hole, the bung hole in the beer barrel. So somebody were getting a load of beer, because that's a big tap, is that? Could have come out of a pub. But, uh, well, somebody was here. Oh, I managed to get across the river again. <laughs> Bit of splashing, but I, I, don't, I think the feet are dry. I'm coming over here because I've got to go in the hammered field, give it uh, a little look at on the way back. Hi, welcome to the roundup. <laughs> I didn't find anything after crossing the stream and coming on back on this side again. <laughs> That's the way it goes, isn't it? Uh, oh, it was a long hunt. Lots of stuff, no hammered, I'm afraid, but some really interesting goodies. First of all, we get rid of the rubbish, which is just pieces of lead, an iron buckle, uh, a, a screw, <laughs> parts of a, a ruler, you know, the ones that turn and swivel. We've got two of those, funny enough. Uh, buttons, pewter buttons, very thin. I thought it was a coin, but nah, it's got to be a button. And then this one, huh, I thought, ooh, ooh, hammered, hammered, but it wasn't. <laughs> uh, where do we go from here? Let's go through a, a ring, holding your trousers up or something. Spoon. Found it in two pieces, oh, 30, 40 yards apart. It's got a, a thingy on here, so if we can get it to play ball. Come on, there you go. Ash. Bert. Ashburton, I think it says Ashbert. They just try to kid people, it's got a hallmark, but it's made out of pewter. Now, another, this, I got this on a hunt, uh, two or three hunts back, and you remember it was all twisted up together. You had this uh, amazing decoration on the back of the handle. Well, guess what? This one that I found today, which had this 
insignia on and I was going, hey, that's interesting. I'm not too sure that is WB now. <laughs> I've cleaned it up. <laughs> but look, it has got those self same markings. Arrows and crosses and they are exactly the same. They're the same size. It looks like these things have come out of the same mould. Now, what's the betting if I took this one and, and prized that up, on the back of that we would have the uh, the initials that are on this. Now these things were a mile and a half apart, but looks like they've been made from the same mould. Okay, uh, now this came out the hole in two bits and I've fastened it together with a bit of cellar tape. No idea what you are. I think I've seen something like you, but what, where, <laughs> when? Somebody may know. As again, this. Bobble of very corroded lead, pewterish, and it's got a screw, so it obviously screwed into something. Little bobble, but gone, long gone. Two nice buckles. Oh, that. That looks to be a, a, a 177 bullet, but the end's wrong. <laughs> uh, hmm. Two buckles, nice buckles bit of a buckle, uh, a stud, Come on, there you go, get yourself sorted, clipped into something but what we know not, this is, this is amazing me, it's, it looks to be lead, But it looks as though it's in a clip. It's in a metal clip and it's lead. Oh, I wonder if it's a weight off a, off a wheel. Mm, can't see it, but you know, a balance in a wheel. Not sure what. <laughs> now coins. Let's get out of the coins. 1683 was the <laughs> earliest date, well, latest date, so that's 150 years ago, uh, Victorian. Then we've got George III there, looking 1806. Uh, mm, hang on a minute. Now, I'm going to change my mind on this. Let's have a look down the bottom of there. No, I can see 1797 on there, so <laughs> we're going to change this. That is 1797. <laughs> it's a giant half penny. Then we got uh, these actually brillowed up very nice. The both George the second. Slightly different heads on them because this one is a Britannia. See, there's Britannia. 1725 and this is the Irish one this is Hibernia now it's got it's got a crown there there's a crown if you can see it and it's on top of a harp but the the I can see the harp but I very much doubt you will it's in there look oh you just see it you'll see it Britannia on one Irish the harp so same year virtually, but uh, one made for the English market, one made for the Irish market. And that's 717 something. Uh, I don't know what. Which leaves the piece de resistance, which is an immaculate beer keg tap. An absolute fully functional master they're all every time I find a tap they're always open and working <laughs> so it's got various bits this they put the keg huge keg 200 litre or 100 litre a big big keg put it on its side with the bung at the top take the bung out and they hammer this uh, tapered piece 
into the barrel and the beer comes through these holes into it and it, it filters any grot or dead rats or things out of the beer <laughs> and that flat bit on this end is where they actually hit it bang bang and, and knock it in that's an ordinary tap sometimes the taps missing and they, they have a key a beer keg tap key so that the workers can't get up the beer then it pours out of there through the the spout but uh, very large one this I've, I've had several of these uh, much one of them half the size if not a quarter of the size but very very nice functional item and very rare that you can get one complete with the filters on one end and and everything working brilliant love it see it's out there <laughs> All you got to do is go out and get it. Ah. Now actually the piece de resistance, um, uh, I had a feeling I was moving on to somebody else's land. <laughs> so I, I called in at the farm and I said, uh, uh, hey I've got a feeling I'm encroaching on your land, I'm working down on your mate's land here. And uh, your other mates also said, I think you're on his land. So I thought, I'd better come and see you, sort it out. Uh, see if you have any objection. He says, no, not at all. He says, um, you can go on, go on home land. I says, well, what you got? He says, I've got about 200 acres uh, going right down the valley to the church. Church, church. <laughs> so that's how you get permissions. 200 acres of them like that. The secret is if you got one permission on farmland you just wait till you see the next farmer working in the field alongside go ask him and you're laughing and it just snowballs and you get entire valleys <laughs> or counties like I tried to get. <laughs> but there's no hammer here I'm moving on to new permission and see if I can see if I can get some hammered so the seals can wait for a while they're not going anywhere they've been in the ground 200 years they can wait so there you go I'll leave you with that 18th century beer keg tap absolute belter so have a drink on me and this little beauty don't know if I can get this properly, but we'll try. See if we can get. You see the look the markings. These have come out of the same mould. Yeah, you see that? Weirdo markings. Absolutely weird. They must mean something. So, till we see you next time, you take care, do as you're told, get out there, go get it, it's out there. See you later. Bye.